Farah, you've heard it a lot over the last week or so, but congratulations on the incredible pioneering career. Um, how difficult was it to come to the decision to retire? Yeah, really difficult. I mean, I haven't just been thinking about it over the last few weeks. It's been probably over the last year. I think when I got injured over a year ago, I was considering retirement, but I didn't want to go out, you know, go out of the game with an injury. And, you know, a game that's given me everything is always going to be hard to walk away from. So I tried to fight back from that. I then got ill with a kidney condition. I then tried to fight back from that. Then I got something else. So, yeah, I think, you know, there's something telling me that maybe my body needs a bit of a rest. Um, accepting that was the hardest thing, and that's why it took so long um, to come to the decision. But I think it's the right one for me and, and my body at the moment. And uh, obviously you've seen so much change in the women's game over the last 20 years um, and you've been a driving force in its growth. Uh, just how different is it compared to uh, when you made your debut for Chelsea all those years ago? Yeah, so different. I mean, the, one of the main differences, I used to pay £5 subs just to train. <laughs> I get paid a five and now to play. <laughs> so that's uh, one of the differences. I think, you know, the standard of coaching, I think in terms of me actually being coached as, as a player, that come really late in my career. Um, the facilities that we now have, the day-to-day, -day, you know, the sports science, the diet nutritionists, uh, fans, media. There's so much that's changed, and, and, and rightly so. And I think, you know, for the right reasons and at the right pace, and hopefully, you know, sustainable pace for our, for our league to continue to grow the women's game. And uh, you've played for Reading actually more times than you did for Liverpool and Arsenal combined. Um, you said previously that Kelly and Reading had improved you as a player. Um, did you get more out of your time with Reading than perhaps you expected when you first joined? No, I, I, I mean, the, the reason why I chose Reading, I, I was at Arsenal at the time and I wasn't playing and I wanted to finish my career in the WSL you know, playing games and actually the, the, the game that they played against Arsenal at the time, I, I think if I remember it was 1-0 to, to Arsenal and they just looked like a team that would suit my side of play. Um, and then having met them and, and them telling me that they wanted to improve me, I was 33 when I when I went for my meeting with them and at 33, you know, I'm somebody that's always wanted to, to improve and get better. And when they said that that was what they could do, I kind of was a little bit like, I hope you can and I hope you're true to your word. And, and they certainly weren't if I can... If, if any young player or, or middle-aged or whatever player that wants to develop you know, as an individual within a team, uh, this is certainly the right place to be, in my opinion. And uh, what was it like receiving the Guard of Honour um, at your last match at Medeski? Yeah, I was overwhelmed. I mean, it was nervy. I can't remember actually walking out onto the pitch. I remember the tune because it was obviously, I was in the, in the tunnel and it was a tune, that I, one of my favourite tunes, and I'm kind of singing to it to try and relax and then, I obviously walked down at the end of the game and my mum asked me, did you hear the song they were playing? And I was like, no. And then I remembered actually, yeah, the tune. Oh, we, we picked that for you. So, I mean, yeah, every fine bit of detail that went into into that Guard of Honor, guard of honor the shirt, the, the, the champagne bottle was really special. And, uh, you know, I'm, I said to Kel after, I'm forever grateful for the amount of effort and detail that they put into making that so special for me. And it's quite poetic that your final game will be against Chelsea, the club you started your career at 20 years ago. Um, what are your feelings going into that match? Um, obviously, with a win, uh, could secure Chelsea the title. You know what? I haven't really thought too much about it being my last game. Um, it was. I, I have thought about the fact that it was a team that I support and that, that I played you know, a long part of my youth career at. Um, so it's special to go and, and finish my career at the team where you know I pretty much started out. Um, it would have been nice if I could have friends and family. So many of them have messaged that they want to celebrate with me after. I just wish we could, you know, have them at the game. But I mean, hopefully we get a result that, you know, to end our season on a high. We've had a pretty inconsistent season. For me, it's about you know the performance and the result that we can maybe get against Chelsea. You know, we normally have tight games. Um, we had a disappointing result against them just after Christmas, and and we want to we want to go out there and show that you know that was a one-off game and that you know we are better than what we we delivered on that day. And finally, uh, what is your message to Royals fans ahead of next season uh, when they will hopefully be able to watch Reading women uh, playing at the Medeski Stadium? I just think get behind the girls. I think in the time that I've been here, they've certainly done that. Uh, showed great support to the team throughout. Um, it would be nice to get them back out. And I think actually they play a big part in, in our success and driving us in, in, in moments in games that have been difficult. You know, Although they're a small, small bunch that we have that come out, the loyal ones, um, really get behind the girls and really give them that extra lift that sometimes we've needed this season in games and, and hopefully having them back next season it will give them that. Thank you. I'm out.